Welcome to the Chatham Bars Inn Farm. My name is Joshua Schiff and we're here standing in the sunflower field. And as you can see, we have a bunch of beautiful sunflowers. And sunflowers are a great thing to plant in your own garden and they're one of our specialties in the heat of the summer. And right now we're standing in front of our Gold Rush sunflowers. And these sunflowers are a wonderful choice for people to grow in their garden because they're considered multi-branching sunflowers. And if you take a look at the sunflower, you can see lots of small shoots here. And the wonderful thing about these sunflowers is that they give you lots of little small branches that are manageable for bouquets. And so some of the sunflowers we grow are big behemoth sunflowers with massive flower heads on them. These ones are a little more manageable. They're very prolific and they're very disease resistant and they're absolutely perfect for your garden. Right now we're in one of my favorite places on the farm, which is our Pro Cut Sunflower Patch. These sunflowers are a little bit different than our Gold Rush sunflowers and they grow one single stem and they're perfect for cutting. We include them in bouquets, centerpieces, and we use them throughout the farm. They're also edible. Um, one really good sunflower tip for you in your home garden is the stage at which you pitch, pick your sunflowers. If you pick your sunflowers when they're completely open like this one you see here, they're wonderful but they have a pretty short vase life. So what you want to do is you actually want to locate sunflowers at this stage when you can still see a little bit of the green petals and they're still partially closed. If you cut your sunflower at this stage, you get much longer shelf life and you'll be much happier with the results. Right now I'm holding one of our signature greens at the Chatham Bars Inn. This green goes in as a garnish on the dishes at Stars and Veranda. It's also included in our cocktail program and it's really unique. We call it tangerine lace and what it actually is is marigold foliage. It has a wonderful citrus aroma, a little bit of an herbal bite and it makes an awesome addition to any tomato salad, seafood dish or cocktail. This is our sweet Italian Genovese basil and we grow this in a really unique way. The way we grow this is in a modified hydroponic system called a capillary mat system. And it's a system that we've developed here on the farm over the last several years. It allows us to have a fresh, constant supply of basil that's always perfect and ready to cut. And I can walk you through the system right now and show you how it works. So the way it works is the basil is being grown in these trays. Each one of the trays contains about 50 plants of basil. And as you can see, the roots are growing right down into the mats. And if I take you down the row, I can show you a little bit better. If you come down here, you can see a, a much younger basil planting. Now these basil plants are about two weeks younger than the ones we just looked at. And if you look at how they're growing, you can see the trays are placed on top of the table. And if you lift them up, you can see that the table is moist. And the roots actually grow right down into the table and they get all the fertilizer and the water they need. And then we cut them directly out of the trays. If you look over here, you can see the basil in even a younger state. So this basil is about two weeks old from seed. And the basil that we just looked at was three weeks. And so we basically have a succession of basil that allows us to have fresh basil all season long. One of my favorite snacks on the farm is the cucamelons. And they're a really unusual crop. And if you want to come take a close look, you can check one out right here. What they are is they're actually called Mexican sour gherkins. And they're a relative of the cucumber. And they grow wild in Mexico. And they have the most wonderful tart flavor. And they're itty bitty things. And basically, you just pop them in your mouth and eat them. They're delicious. As you can see, they look like little mini watermelons. Another one of our late season favorites on the farm is these Romano pole beans. And these are wonderful Italian pole beans. And if you take a look at them, they're big and broad and they're absolutely tender, juicy, and delicious. They're really good when paired with a simple tomato sauce made with our cherry tomatoes. Right now we're in the shishito pepper patch. And these shishito peppers are really special. They're really easy to prepare. Basically all you do is toss them in a little bit of olive oil with some salt and pepper, put them on the grill until you have a slight char on them, and then just consume them. You can dress them with some really interesting things afterwards. They're wonderful with a little bit of gojujang chili paste, a little bit of sesame oil, or just a squeeze of lemon. So in my hand I have a very special pepper. It's called an islander pepper, and as you can see it's purple. Um, tastes just like a normal bell pepper. It's thick, it's juicy, it's got thick walls, but it's got this beautiful lilac color to it. And the neat thing about them is they also ripen to some really unique colors. So this one's a little more ripe, and as you can see, it's starting to turn orange. And so we love these peppers because they really capture the fall colors. So these are our purple Cherokee tomatoes, and they're a challenge to grow, but they're our most rewarding tomato on the farm. If you want to come take a look, 
I can show you what they look like once they're picked and cut. They're absolutely luscious. They have a deep, dusky maroon color and they have a wonderful texture. And that's what the inside looks like. And they're incredibly juicy and all you need is just a little bit of sea salt to really accentuate their flavor.